Now that you have a basic understanding of what depth of field is, how to use a depth of field calculator, and how to move your range of focus around on set using things like hyperfocal distance, it's time to get into the messy side of depth of field, where objects that are supposed to be in focus aren't quite in focus. Truth be told, even we had some issues with things not always being perfectly in focus when we were shooting footage for these lessons. So in this lesson, we're gonna talk about two things that can completely destroy your depth of field. One is light diffraction, and the other is something called circle of confusion. As we've covered in previous lessons, depth of field is about the range of distances that appear to be acceptably sharp. However, technically only a very specific area is in focus, the exact distance you focused your camera. Objects in front and behind this area of focus may appear to be in focus, but if you look closely, they actually aren't. They are ever so slightly out of focus, even if you can't tell in the finished shot. This is why we repeatedly describe depth of field as an acceptably sharp region instead of simply saying the area was sharp. Additionally, our graphics in previous lessons showed this acceptably sharp depth of field as an absolute range between the near focus and the far focus limits. But it isn't like as you move through the field, everything is in perfect focus, and then suddenly, when you cross a boundary, it's instantly out of focus. Instead, the better way to think of depth of field is as a gradient, moving gradually from what is in focus to what isn't in focus. Gradually, as you move away from the plane where objects are truly in focus, things will slowly become less acceptably sharp. So now is the time to talk about the dirty little secret of depth of field. How is acceptably sharp defined? 